What's going on? I'm Healthy Fit Family. This is Tunde, and I'm back with um, my updates for week nine, training for my uh, half marathon in Miami. And so as of this recording, I have exactly two weeks until my uh, race date, which is uh, January 25th. And I'm pretty excited about um, the race coming up. I've uh, been talking with uh, Donovan, who is my contact person, my frat brother, uh, for the, our team for the race. And he's been giving me updates about where we're going to be staying and all that. So um, at the time approaches, I'm getting more and more excited about the race. Uh, this past week, as I said, it was week nine, and the title of this week is Maintaining Fitness, and I had 37 miles scheduled. On Monday, uh, I had five miles scheduled, and I ran five miles uh, right before I went to play basketball, and the five miles wasn't bad at all. I uh, had a pretty uh, good run. But afterwards, when I was playing basketball, I started to cramp up a little bit. So I think that I need to just watch my uh, high, uh, hydration levels because the same thing happened when I Saturday before when I uh, played ball for a long time, then ran 14 miles. So I th I'm seeing a trend with me playing basketball and running and uh, just me cramping up. So I need to start drinking more water, I guess. Um, so I had five miles. I ran five miles on Monday. Uh, Tuesday, I ran eight miles. Uh, it was really cold outside uh, on Tuesday. I didn't run on trim, I ended up running outside. And the reason I decided to run outside was because I looked at the forecast, and that day it was like 50 degrees. But by the time I made it home and changed and all that, by the time I got outside, it had to be mid 30s. Um, and it was really foggy outside. So. I ended up running where I live is in southwest Portland. So to get to um, I guess uh, southeast, that's southeast Portland, you have to cross the um, one of the rivers, or whatever. So I ended up running across the Burnside Bridge, and uh, I couldn't see anything. Like I couldn't see five feet in front of me. That's how much fog there was. But uh, after I got warmed up, I I think I had a pretty good run. I had like five layers um, on my upper body and I of course had tights on I did my shorts and I had thermal socks on so after maybe the first half a mile after I got a good sweat going uh, it wasn't that bad but starting out it was pretty cold so but I ran eight miles on Tuesday uh, Wednesday I ran six miles another good run uh, Thursday I had a quick short run uh, three miles before my uh, uh, frat meeting. Uh, Friday, I ran five miles after I uh, after I left my therapy session, and uh, before I called it a, uh, a evening, I ran five miles. And then on Saturday morning, I got up and ran ten miles uh, before I went to play basketball. So after Monday, when I was cramping, I made it a point to drink just more water throughout the week, and I ran ten miles Saturday morning. And then afterwards, I think I played six games of basketball. Uh, won the first five, lost the last one, just because I think our whole team was tired. And I'm leaning against dudes, dudes that are playing with my height, but these two dudes I was uh, guarding, they both easily had 60 to... One dude had 60, the other had to have 80 pounds on me. So they were, kept trying to post me up, but, you know, I'm, I'm not going like that. Uh, so I think I held my own, but... it made me really tired but no cramps at all um the whole time i was running or playing basketball on saturday so so that was cool um got a chance to uh just finish out my week i think the two weeks before this past week uh when i was home i didn't actually finish the runs for the week so i'm glad to get back on track and i have two more weeks of training like i said before my race and um like i said i'm pretty excited about it uh this week coming up uh, is entitled Taper Week, which I'm going to be tapering down my runs. I have uh, five miles on Monday, uh, ten miles on Tuesday, which, you know, I usually don't have long runs in a week, but ten miles on Tuesday, five on Wednesday, uh, cross train on Thursday, uh, which probably, I'll probably go to the gym and put some shots up, uh, four miles on Friday, and eight miles on Saturday, and Sunday, of course, is my rest day. So, um, 
as in other running news, I uh, people in my challenge or our challenge for I'm Healthy Fit um, are going strong. Uh, the uh, went to challenge two. It's uh, we do have a winner. The winner is I don't want to say his name. I'm not sure if he's comfortable with me saying his name. Actually, I won the challenge, but I'm I don't count because I'm the creator of the challenge and I can't win my own prize. So, uh, J Dot he won. Uh, he ran 50 miles in nine days, 11 hours, and 45 minutes. So, he'll be getting um, a pair of brand new running sneakers. Uh, Joking, uh, K. He came in third place. Uh, 10 days, 11 hours, and 29 minutes. And there are still there are a lot of people who are close to finishing as well. Uh, Keisha R, who has 38 miles. Mind you, um, the the challenge is 30 days, so we're only 11 days in. So these people are going to finish with ease. Um, Keisha R has 38 miles. Marguerite has 32 miles. Ross has 31. Uh, Donovan, who's my contact for the uh, my frat brother for the uh, half marathon, he's at 29.7. Veronica 28, 25.8. Brandon 20. Bianca 19, Shamira 18, Veronica 17, uh, Judd uh, 12, Marcus 11, Therese 10. I mean, it's a lot of people who have gotten a, a good amount of miles in so far. So I'm proud of everyone who's, you know, um, staying consistent with their runs and just putting these miles in. Uh, so if you, like I said, there's going to be two prizes given out. So the, um, Everyone who does finish before the end of the 30 days, they'll be entered into a random drawing. And whoever gets the name drawn will also win a pair of uh, brand new running shoes. I uh, don't know exactly what shoes they're going to be, but they'll probably be Nike. Um, cause just because I like Nike products, so that's what I'm going to go get. Uh, so uh, keep pushing, y'all. And uh, also, the other challenge is going on, uh, the 750 miles. We still have 354 days left because it's a year-long challenge. Uh, just keep pushing on that too. So is you know that's gonna take a lot more consistency and will to to run 750 miles in a year. So uh, I'm almost at a thousand miles for since I switched over to the Nike uh, Plus on Nike Running app. I I think I might have done like two to three hundred miles on uh, my other app which was the uh, run keeper app and before I switched over to the Nike Plus app but right now as far as the Nike app is concerned I'm at 911 miles so I'll be approaching I'll be hitting a thousand miles soon on this app uh, also I I was on Twitter the other day and I follow Nike running and they posted like um, I guess a run map of the run they did one day last week and I clicked on the map and I was like oh I mean I know Nike is headquartered here but for some reason I didn't think that they had their running group here as well so I clicked on the map and I saw the map was not far from where I live so I hit them up on Twitter and, and asked them if they had a running group and if they did could I you know run with them so they hit me up and said hey just you know come on out so I'm excited this week I think Monday or Wednesday I haven't decided which day because also the day that I play basketball. So we're going to skip basketball one day this week and go out and run with Nike. So I'm excited about that. Hopefully they don't leave me in the dust because uh, I don't know what type of athletes they have out there. But it should be a fun experience. And uh, other news, other health news. Um, I was talking to Marguerite and she gave me um, a suggestion. As far as running, uh, for these vlogs, maybe I should add uh, running uh, tips for people who are interested in running and have difficulty in a certain area. So I think I'm going to, for the rest of my vlogs, add, uh, I guess, a running tip. So this week's running tip, or this vlog's running tip, is going to be about breathing. Um, when I first started back running, I had lots of issues with uh, cramping up and feeling like I couldn't breathe. And I think that stems from two different things. Um, the first is your running posture. Um, if you're running and you're, I guess if you're running and you're hunched over, it, it's bad form. And 
What that can do is cause uh, friction along your peritoneum, which is like the, uh, I guess, the membrane that surrounds your abdominal cavity. And that can cause a lot of pain and give you cramps in your stomach and in your side. So um, if you're running, try to stay, if you're running, especially long distances, try to keep conscious of your form and make sure that you're running straight up. Um, I don't think I have that issue or never had that issue because I naturally run very straight up. Like, if you've ever seen like Michael Johnson run, especially when I sprint, like I'm directly like straight up in my everything, like my chest and my arms, everything is in a straight line. So I don't hunch over at all. I may sit hunched over, but when I run, I run very straight up. Um, the second is uh, breathing. Um, when I uh, first started running cross country in high school, uh, my coach he um, he basically told me to try to breathe in a pattern, and that helps a lot with um, with reducing, I guess, cramps uh, if you breathe in the pattern. So what I do is I do step, step, breathe. Like I do step, step, inhale, deep breath into your belly, not just your chest, into your belly. Step, step, breathe out. So step, step, breathe in, deep breath, step, step, breathe out. So I think that helps a lot too. At, at this point, I think it's, it's something that I do subconsciously. I don't have to think about it of my breathing. So if you're first starting to run, you might want to you know, try to keep track of your breathing. You don't want to, a lot of people, they don't even know or realize that you might hold your breath for a while. For a while and that can lead to lots of cramps and difficulty breathing. So two things, um, watch your form and watch your breathing. And I looked up um, other tips online and uh, some of them are uh, warm up thoroughly uh, and gradually increase your uh, run pace. So um, I think that's one of the things that when I first started running, first started running again is I didn't properly stretch um, before I started running. That led to a lot of my lower back pain. So now I thoroughly warm up. I do jumping jacks. I do at least 10 minutes of stretching. And I posted, uh, I guess, uh, a picture on our I'm Healthy Fit Instagram this week. And it says something to the effect, to the effect of, uh, don't ever trust that first mile. It's always a liar. Um, so I don't... Like when I'm running, I don't care what my pace is my first mile. I just use my first mile as a warm up, and it can be 20 minutes for all I care. My first mile, and then I'll go from there. As long as I'm warm, that first mile, I'm fine. Uh, second tip is drink water, stay well hydrated. That's a given. Um, increase your fitness level. That's gonna come with running. Uh, practice deep uh, belly breathing. That's what I said. When you breathe, breathe into your belly, not just your chest. Um, strengthen your core muscles. Eat at least three hours before a run. Um, when I run, I try to eat right before it, uh, something light, maybe a banana or a granola bar or something. Um, I try not to run on a completely empty stomach. Um, also, run on soft surfaces to reduce the force of impact. If you run outside, that may not be um, that might not be feasible. So, um, I guess use that as your, at your discretion. And uh, lastly, this says slow down your run pace until you are further conditioned. And that goes without saying, no one's going to come out off the break and run a seven or six minute mile. Um, when you first start out, you might run a 15 or 20 minute mile. Um, but if you stick with it and, you know, you'll gradually see your your... Uh, mile per minute decrease. So don't be discouraged if you think you have a if you run a slow a slow mile. Just keep at it and try not to get hurt, and you'll you'll see improvements. So I think that's it for the running tips. Uh, last week I said I was going to give you a uh, I guess how how my thoughts on this shoe, the Nike um, Hyper Zoom Hyperfuse, and I think it's a great shoe. It fits really snug around the toe box and along the midsole. But the, my one, um, my one critique about the the shoe, I don't I don't know what this is, but um, the heel, like when I run, I can feel my heel like sliding up 
and down in, into the shoe, and I don't like that. Because um, when I uh, play, I do a lot of cutting, and if you can see, I don't know if you can see, this piece right here, it opens up on on either side, and it's called a um, adaptive fit, and I'm not a fan of it. Uh, this, to me, should be all one material instead of it being pieced together. So uh, that's my only, uh, I guess, uh, criticism of the shoe. Otherwise, it, to me, it's a great shoe. It fits really tight and snug to my foot. And uh, I mean, I, I'm gonna play in it again. So this week, maybe this week, I'll actually get some video. I think last week I forgot my camera. I brought my um, my tripod. I brought my tripod that I got for Christmas um, with me to the gym. This, I guess, fits directly to my camera, and I can put it on any surface. So. I'm gonna be using this to uh, shoot a lot more of my videos, but I forgot I brought my tripod, but I actually left my camera last week. So uh, this week maybe I'll get some good footage, or tomorrow when I go to the gym, or Wednesday, depending on when I go out running with Nike. And uh, lastly, I want to give you an update on uh, my finger. My rehab therapist gave me a, a new, uh, I guess, brace. It has a. Uh, a spring in it and it basically what this does it fits on my finger like this and it pulls my finger straight because my finger doesn't have any issues with bending I'm having a lot of improvement but it's having, I'm having issues with straightening up my finger as you can see it's still not all the way straight so hopefully with the spring I already see some major improvements since Friday um, so hopefully next week or so my finger should be completely straight and I'll go from there so I will see you guys next week for uh, updates on week number nine. Bye.